In this lesson, we'll learn how to use Webflow's component variants with no custom code to create variants for things like button size, button style, primary or secondary, layout reverse, and also our icon slot. So let's get started building this out. So let's add in a div. We'll give it the class of button wrap. We'll set it to inline block so it hugs the content. And inside of that, we'll add a div with the class of button content. And we'll go ahead and give this some top and bottom padding of 1 EM and left and right padding of 2 EM. And I'm using EM here so that the padding's based on the font size of the parent. If we decrease or increase this parent div's font size, we'll notice the child inside is changing. And we can also define a background color on this content div and a font color, and we can define a radius. If we set the radius with rim, that value will never change. If we set it with EM, it'll scale up and down based on the button size. So depending on what we want to happen, we can change that there. Let's also set a transition, and we'll want to define a hover state on this button content that changes its background color. Now inside the content, let's add a div with the class of button layout. And inside of that, we'll add in a text block with the class of button text, and let's change this to say, get started. So now that we have that set, we'll want to have a slot in here where we can have an icon. So we'll select the layout, we'll turn that into a component, and we'll call this button layout. Now we'll actually go ahead and drop in a slot, we'll call this button icon, and we'll go ahead and set its width to something like 0.9 rim. And if I wanted it to scale up and down with the button size, I would use EM. But in this case, I want it to just always be a consistent size. And we'll go ahead and set its uh, ratio here to be a square. And that way, the height is defined by the width. And let's also zero out the padding so it's the correct size. And we'll want these to stack side by side. So on the layout div, we'll apply flex to stack them side by side. I'll do a gap of 0.5 EM because I want that gap to grow and shrink based on button size. And for the text, I'll just go ahead and set a rim size. So this is inheriting from its parent size, which is going to scale up and down. But if we just reapply that size here, then the button uh, font size won't be affected by the actual uh, size of the whole button. So again, that's optional depending if we want the text to scale up or down. So now that we have that set, let's go ahead and create a variant here. We'll call this reversed. And we'll go ahead and create, rename this first one to be normal. So this is for our direction. And for the reverse direction, we're just going to switch the right to left direction so that the icon comes first, like so. And we'll go ahead and head to props and rename this variant to be something like layout. And I'll go ahead and put this up here. So now that we have that set, let's also just connect the text to a field. We'll call this text, and that way we can set this button text. And now we can go ahead and close this component. So we have our layout reversed or normal, and we have a slot for the icon, and we have where our text will go. Now we're gonna turn this whole content into a component so we can control the color. So we'll call this button style, and we'll go ahead and create a variant here. We'll call this secondary, and we'll rename the base variant to be something like primary. So for our secondary style, we're basically going to change the background color to this off color here, and we'll change the font color. And whenever we hover like so, this is pulling from the base variant, so let's change that to be the brand color and the white font color on hover. And we'll go head over to props, and we'll rename this to be style. And so now what we'll want to do is connect this child because right now on the parent, we only have control of style. We can't control the layout and we can't add in an icon in the slot. So to fix that, we'll select the child component and we'll connect layout to the parent. So we can go ahead and add that in. And to have access to the slot, we're actually going to need to nest a slot inside of another one. So if we just add this in here, we can go ahead and give this the class of something like button slot. And we're gonna to wanna to give this 100% width and height of its parent, so it just fills all the available space, and we'll zero out that default padding that we see there, and that should make it the correct size. And also on this child layout component, let's just link text up to a higher field on the whole parent, and that way on this whole component, we can now control both the layout reverse, we can add any icon we want in the slot, and we can control the style and text like so. So now we just need to control the whole uh, parent button wrap. We'll turn that into a component called button. And let's go ahead and create some variants. So we'll have a medium size, and we'll have a large size, and we'll also have, if we rename this, to be our small size. 
And for the small one, all we're really doing is just reducing the font size here. So if I make this much smaller, like so, that should shrink the button size. And for our medium one, I'll probably increase that font size to something like 0.9 rim. And for the large one, uh, I'll go ahead and increase this even more, like 1.2. And what this is doing is it's scaling the gap, since that gap is set with the EM. It's scaling the padding and it's scaling the radius. We could also make it scale the icon and text if we set those with EM, but that's totally optional. Uh, let's head over to props and let's rename this size. And we want to select what our default variant should be. So whenever we drop in this component, we'll make medium be the default if nothing else is set. And let's go ahead and link up style to a field on the parent so we can control that. Let's link up the layout again to a field on the parent so we can control that from the whole button component. Uh, for the slot, we'll go ahead and drop in another nested one. And we'll go ahead and give this the same class we already created of button slot. And then for this uh, text, we'll go ahead and link that to the parent like so. And so now if we close this out, we should have options for all of them together. We can control size, we can control the uh, style, and we can also control the layout. And if we just select the slot, we can go ahead and let's just add in an icon in here like so, that looks good. And we can control our text. So that's how to build this button component with these variants in Webflow.